just a little runaway. Forty-seven years and still I'm on the run. Afraid of love, I'm keeping God at bay. Spending days in a nightmare ain't much fun. I am just a little runaway. For my misery, always blaming someone else. I'm really into judgment and delay, but only hurting. It's Calico, and it's another exciting episode of Beyond the Body. And today I'm really excited about um, the topic we're going to discuss, which is expression sessions. Um, the title of this episode is Expression Sessions, Reality versus Myth. <laughs> and there appears to be a lot of confusion about what exactly does go on in an expression session. Um, David Hoffmeister and the Living Miracles organization uses them. Um, depends on where you are, but on a daily basis to kind of clear the mind and and you know any superfluous thoughts that may be lingering. Um, it's an opportunity to express them, to allow them out, so that the mind can be clear again. It it sounds like a very simple process, but there's a lot of misunderstanding about it and. Um, the other day in the 30-day program, which, by the way, I want to get a plug to the 30-day program. Um, it's a free program online, uh, and we have a Facebook, a private Facebook group, and it really is an opportunity. It's kind of like a virtual expression session. Um, and the other day, there was a woman that was talking about doing an expression session with her sister, who is the issue. And that's really not a very good idea. Um, it went badly, which, you know, that's really, you do not want to do an expression session, at least initially, until you get the skill down with the person that you're annoyed with. Um, expression sessions are really the opportunity to see it's all about us. It has nothing to do with the other person. And <clears throat> I'm going to put a plug in for the prayer and support team as well. If you don't find that you have a mighty companion that can hold the truth of this, that there is nobody else doing something to us, give us a call at Prayer and Support. Fill out a request. We'd be happy to hold that space for you so that you can express what there is on your heart um, in an environment that's not going to continue to blame the other person. Because this really is about allowing these feelings to surface so that we can see them differently through the eyes of Christ. So in the 30-day program, this woman was talking about this expression session with her sister, and she was saying, God, it's just every time I do it, it's not going well. And, I, and what it is is she was trying to get her point across to her sister, which, again, anytime you want to get a point across to someone, I know you've all had experience with this, they are not listening. You know, particularly if they disagree with you, they're really not listening. So the expression session is a venue for us to allow the feelings up and out. And then we can, we can really allow Holy Spirit to take them, if we're willing, to see them differently. And this is just a, a point that I want to make also. And I've seen a lot of expression sessions. And one, one area that if you don't complete this little piece of an expression session, these, these problems that we see tend to loop around and come back. And you know, it may be a different person, a different scenario, but the same reaction occurs in ourselves. And that is when we're expressing in an expression session, with a mighty companion who can hold the space of there is nothing wrong here. When we surface this and say, this is what I'm feeling, I'm angry, I'm sad, I'm, I'm frustrated, whatever the feelings are, and I want to see this differently through the eyes of Christ. Some version of that has to happen because Holy Spirit is the one to heal our minds. We can't do this. All I can say for myself is I had issues with 
authority. Well, I still have issues with authority, but they're so much less than what they used to be. And from the time I was born, I was making governments, you know, people killing whales. Um, you get the picture, big banks, insurance companies, hospitals, anything that looked like an authority figure to me, I was making wrong. And I knew I was right. And so <clears throat> I couldn't heal this myself. And it kept getting looping, <laughs> getting bigger. And I must say, one of the last things that occurred before I really started getting this process um, was the foreclosure with Chase. And I was right, they were wrong. And it got so heated that I had Santa Fe's finest come out to my house in the mountains with AK-47s as they took me in, handcuffed me, and took me in for a psych evaluation. Yes, indeedy. But this is, this is the interesting thing. There was, you know, I was there all night, and finally this young, beautiful counselor comes in, and she heard my story, and, and this, she was a mighty companion. She was a mighty companion. She, she heard the story, and the only thing she said after it, as I'm sitting in the drunk tank, <laughs> trying to figure out what the hell happened here. I just, I know I'm right. She looked at me and she said, there's nothing wrong here. You're just angry. And I really got, yeah, I just have anger and I just need to be able to express it, not blaming anyone, but to really have the anger and get it out of my system. Um, you know, I really see a lot of that anger probably contributed to the fact that I got cancer. I wasn't able to, to really allow it out in a safe environment and an environment that didn't continue to make it wrong. And, you know, I need to say that there were many coarse people in, in my community that, no, you need to continue fighting. They're wrong, <laughs> which wasn't helpful for me because what I was needing to do was see it through the eyes of Christ, see it through the eyes of a healed mind. And anyone that sees something is wrong is not a healed mind, or right even. I mean, right or wrong, they're the same thing. They're two sides of the same coin. So the expression session, and I did film myself having an expression the other day, um, just because I felt it would be helpful for you to really see what an expression session looked like. Now, what I need to say is an expression session does not look like a roomy quote. It does not look like a bouquet of flowers. So if you have small children in the room, remove them. Um, and if you're, if you're <laughs> upset with profanity, you may want to remove yourself. So I just want to pause here for a second and share with you an expression that I had. It was a couple of weeks ago, but enjoy. Okay, enough of that. <laughs> you get the idea. Um, it's raw. These feelings that we're harboring, that we don't even know we're harboring, they're not pretty. There's nothing pretty about them. Um, and I need to say at this point too, because I have a lot of friends that have difficulty getting in touch with their feelings. If you find yourself not being able to bring the feelings up, this is what I recommend. And quite frankly, at this point in my healing, I don't go into my body much because I'm so connected with my mind, that's where I go. But initially, go into your body, take some time of silence. Go into your body and see where are you holding tension, perhaps pain, um, You'll know it. It may be hot in a certain area. It, you may have cold feet. It may be any, anything. Just note the differences in your body. And when you find one, focus on that and see what feeling is associated with that particular area of your body. And that may be one of the ways that you can start allowing this stuff to surface rather than stuffing it in your body. Because the expression session, as you saw, is really about getting something out. 
It's not about hanging on to anything. It's really about expressing, expressing. That's the key here. So I just give that little tip to those that may not have a, an ability to access their, their feelings. You know, there, there is an idea out in the world, and I, I probably had this idea for most of my life also, that if you do start getting in touch with these feelings, these core feelings, that all that's gonna happen is you're gonna turn into a very angry, bitter human being. And there was that, I mean, I, A, I was embarrassed to let people know how angry I was. And, you know, and the thing is, it was no secret to the people that were close to me. I remember a comment once in my life and someone said to me, wow, I'm glad I'm your friend. <laughs> and it's like, you know, so it wasn't any secret that I was stuffing anger. And when I first let it out, there was this fear of if I start letting this out, it's just not gonna end. It's an endless supply of icky feelings that I really don't want to let out of the container that I have it packed in ever so light nicely. It reminded me of a, the visual I have of it is like a suitcase that's perhaps overpacked. And you know, when you, when you flip the suitcase open, it all just kind of fluffs up and you can never get it back into it. That's kind of the way I saw my feelings. I'm here to tell you from my own personal experience and boy, this is coming from a very angry, formerly angry woman. Um, I started letting them out. In fact, my first expression session was up at the monastery and it was with oh, Greg Donner, who I will love throughout eternity and beyond. Because the first expression session I was at, I started screaming from the top of my lungs, no, 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 no. I don't know what I was saying no to. I just knew that it was an opportunity to let it out. And at the time I had, it was like coming from the very core of my being, these screams of no. And I kind of observed myself screaming no, not aware of where it was coming from, thinking to myself, oh my God, they're gonna think I'm really nuts. And I looked over at Greg Donner, who happened to be in a rocking chair to my left, and he's sitting there rocking just like this. <laughs> and I, I, somehow I looked at him going, well, it can't be too bad. He's smiling. <laughs> so I'm just here to say, let it out. It does end. But if you don't let it out, it's going to keep looping and you know, you're going to get triggered by friends, family, big banks, you know, they'll eventually take you in and do a psych eval on you. And it will be hopefully a nice, sweet counselor that'll come in and go, Oh, I don't know what the problem is. You're just angry. And it's like, yes. Yeah. And that's all it is. Anger can't kill us. Stuffing anger will, but the expression of all these feelings will never harm us. It'll only add to more and more peace. And that's what I found for myself. The more I express and let out, the more peaceful and happy I become in between the periods of getting triggered. So I don't know, will I get triggered again? I have no idea, but I do know that the only way out of this is through this. And that's for me to express, as you saw, not a pretty sight necessarily, but in a safe environment, it falls on ears that love me and uh, they don't judge me. And that's, that's the beauty of this. Just a note about the 30 day unwind your mind experience, which is another free program offered by living miracles. I highly recommend you think about joining if you're not already um, a part of our little unwind group. Um, <clears throat> it's an opportunity to be guided along a 30 day process, which includes some silent days, which is really quite lovely, but it really takes you on an experience of A Course in Miracles. Um, you don't have any, have to have any prior knowledge of A Course in Miracles because everything is provided for you. It's a kind of a self-contained program for 30 days. And for those of you that have done the 30 day program before, 
I just, I cannot tell you because for myself, I did an online program for four years back to back. And every time I took it, I took a, I, I set up a different commitment for myself. And each time it took me on a different ride. So just because it may look the same, it'll take you to a different location in your mind that perhaps may need to be cleared. So I just wanted to plug the 30 day program because it's a, a fabulous opportunity and it's free and can be repeated on a regular basis that allows for this unwind to happen because you can't skip steps. This is a process of taking your mind from wherever you find it and slowly clearing all the not, not so insane ideas that we have put into it that we truly believe. And, um, and yeah, you know, I, I got my world from it and I got a clear mind and I'm feeling more peace than I have ever known. So I just wanted to plug the 30 days. If you're not a part of it, I will include a link with this. Uh, join us. It's, uh, we offer it every other month and uh, it has a facilitated Facebook group that really, oh my God, they're doing so much healing and um, it's so exciting to be a part of it. And the group itself is really an expression session. People are sharing some powerful things that are going on in their lives and, you know, childhood memories for, you know, older people that they've never shared before. And uh, it's, uh, it's fun to watch the process as an observer going, yep, I get this and I get the power of this. And um, yeah, I like to share it as much as possible. With that being said, I just again want to avail Living Miracles to you. If you do not have a community that you feel that you can set up an expression session or it feels too unsafe, again, the commitment for anyone coming into a Living Miracles community is to allow this stuff to surface, to be expressed. Um, and if you don't find yourself in that position, and believe me, I've, most of the book studies I've been in wouldn't do well with having someone start expressing, send a request through to the prayer and support group at Living Miracles, and I'll put that link on here too. And, and we are with it on a daily basis so that we can hold the space and perhaps even support you in seeing it differently. So, I just want to thank you for allowing me to share with you some raw footage that, um, you know, I must say I'm, I'm presenting this because it is another forgiveness opportunity to me. It's like, I'm just a human being on the planet and this is what it looks like. Really. I'm not a roomy quote. Um, I'm not necessarily soft and gentle all the time, although I'm quiet most of the time, except outside of these programs. Um, hard to believe, but yes, um, silence is where I connect with God. And so with all this expressing, what allows to happen is your mind starts clearing and you're not constantly having to shove these down. And if you saw the program last week with levels of mind, this goes along directly with levels of mind. This is piercing through that light layer of emotion and without really allowing it up, you're just going to loop through and have more of the same. And, you know, it's what we're seeing in the world at large, you know, new wars, World War 15, 16, 17. I mean, it just keeps going on because we don't, we haven't moved through the feelings, moved through the fears. And um, I just wanted to give, really give you a sense of what it was like because <clears throat> it's not pretty necessarily and there may be tears involved and, um, I just, I join you there because I know the healing that can come from it by allowing the feelings up and then asking for some help from Holy Spirit. Because remember, Holy Spirit is the one that does the healing. We don't have to do that heavy lifting. All we have to do is be willing to allow those feelings up in front of others is really powerful. So, you know, we'll see what miracles occur with this. Hey, listen, everybody, it's been great joining with you until our next exciting adventure on Beyond the Body. Have a great moment. Love you. It was just
just a tiny mad idea at which the Son of God remembers.